any moment now is going to roll self-driving trucks with no humans aboard in commercial service down I-45. And it remains to be seen, like what happens then? Like, are we talking like two trucks do it and they say we have met our obligation to, you know, launch trucks by the end of April, 2025? How does that scale up over time? Like, are we gonna get to, I don't know, let's say three dozen trucks by the end of this year that are running that route on a consistent basis. Three dozen trucks by the end of the year, no. I believe they'll get to they'll get to 12 trucks by the end of the year. And then the following year, I would say by April, May, maybe eight, eight, 18 to 22 trucks by June, July, 20, 24 to 26 trucks. So Aurora is going to take a very methodical, smart approach to this. And you had Nat Buse on your podcast and we had Nat Buse on here and, and an extremely smart individual, in my opinion, the smartest mind in safety in autonomy today. And Nat is a leading influential figure out there in safety and he, they're not taking chances and they're, they're building this right. And they're going to do it in April. I truly believe they're going to do it this month. I can't wait to me. It's going to be a historic moment in autonomy because they're not just going to do this. Oh, hi, we did it and turn the lights off. They're going to keep going back and forth operating commercial service. Bot's going to start operating driver out commercial service in Houston. So it's a really big monumental moment for autonomous trucking in Texas. We're going to play the parlor game here because I want to go on the record with this because I have an opinion and I want your opinion. Aurora has two very public partners, Volvo, Paccar. Who do you think is going to be the driver out partner and why? I'm going to think if we're going on the record here, we don't know on April 7th, right? I think it's Paccar. Why? I've heard from several people over several months who have firsthand experience that that the Volvo VNL was was difficult. They were having kind of unforeseen integration problems. I 100% agree with you. It is going to be the pack car. And I say that because of the, the long engineering expertise they've had with that truck. And that was the truck that I went on a safety ride with. So I believe it will be the pack car Peter built. When that moment happens and they start operating daily, consistent driver out routes, how do you think the autonomy market reacts? Do they look at this as a moment in history or does everybody stand up and cheer and applaud? How do you think they look at this? I think it's the latter because it, like you said before, this is a historic moment. Like this is something that Chris Urmson has been working on for, for decades, right? He's the father of the modern day industry in, in many respects. And now... Now he will have a product in play on public roads. So I think to do that with a you know seventy thousand pound class eight truck is is an accomplishment. There's no doubt. And this trucking space has been red hot with a lot of talk, certainly over the last few months, maybe the last year. And you know, and if. And there's various permutations of that that are already like seeing some early success, like Kodiak Robotics putting deploying trucks in commercial operation on private road. Like that's useful, right? And that that is also to be applauded. And I don't want to forget that. In reality, it's not about like the, the magic moment that's first, right? It's about how useful is this? How quickly is it useful? How quickly does Aurora get dozens or hundreds of trucks on the road, go beyond I-45? and make this like really useful to a wide, wide number of users. Like that's the premise, right? Kodiak already doing that. They have found a, a useful use case. And I bet that that can be replicated elsewhere too, as they, they work toward public roads and they're doing defense work too. So that's what I'm really like, curious is like, these, how quickly does, do these become meaningful revenue streams for, for these businesses? Autonomy is becoming a business next five years become meaningful revenue streams. You're going to see a significant growth increase because the technology is going to be scalable, the growing labor shortage, which is are only going to accelerate because of the, the current policies. The, the, what nobody's really talking about, and I'll say this very bluntly, the current policies as it relates to labor, trade, and tariffs are only going to accelerate the adoption of automation and autonomy. And it's only going to benefit the, the Kodiaks, the Aurora's of the world. And the way most it's, it's, it's going to benefit everybody working in autonomy. And that's why we're, we're, we're so focused on it. I think we're going into Trump wants to call this the golden age. 
barring his tagline, we're going into the golden age of automation and the Trump policies are going to take us there.